Hey guys, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and welcome back to more Pirate Doom. Now, in the post-editing phase of this video, for the first 1 minute and 14 seconds of this map, there is no blind Let's Play commentary. What you are hearing right now is post-commentary for the first minute 14 of this map, and that's because during the editing of this video, I clipped the first minute 14 out by accident. <coughs> Whoa. So, basically all I was trying to do was getting my jump command to work because in the comments of the last video, someone mentioned that I'm going to be using jump in the upcoming video. So that's all I was trying to do here. So. At a minute 14, you'll start hearing my blind Let's Play voice come back, so I will leave you to it. Enjoy the video, everybody, and I shall see you, um, yeah. Yeah, it's default. Let's see. On. Let's force it to be on rather than by default. Let's see if that worked. Yep. Oh my gosh! Well, uh... I don't think I'll be using jump much underwater if it's going to be doing this. <laughs> uh, but anyways, the comments did say that there will be a couple of points where I will need to use the jump command, so I'll have it activated just in case. So... We'll just go along with that, so... What in the world is that thing? Nothing ahead. Well, thanks for the message there. Oh, it's a little fish! It's a sweetness! Wonder, can you shoot them? Oh, wait a minute, sweetness! Sweetness! I'm sorry, sweetness! Please return to me. Poor sweetness. Okay, that's not me jumping, by the way. That's just, for some reason, there's an invisible ledge, I guess, over there. There's more fish. Hello there, you want to be my friend? Oh, his mouth moves faster when I shoot him. I'm sorry there, my sweetness. Okay, enough, enough daddling around. Let's, uh, go and explore this. But yeah, we see the sunken ship. And what is the map called again? Oh, uh, well, the sunken ghost ship. Well, how appropriate. Uh, there are 47 monsters, 5 secrets, and 24 items. So let's go ahead and fill in the map. Okay, there are no secrets. Um, unless... I'm sorry about this, folks. I should have done this off-camera. Let's go to Auto Map Options. And... Show secrets on map always. Okay, so the secrets will appear... Um, all the time. And right now, there are no secret areas to be found. So, I don't know what to make of that. But, um... Oh, there's an anchor. Oh, yes! Steps going up. This reminds me a lot of the Derelict, um, Episode 4, Level 9 of Duke Nukem 3D. Oh, boy. It's eerily quiet on board the sunken ghost ship. And here comes the music. Oh, boy. Grog. Oh! Shoot Grog, get wine. That's a fair trade, I'd say. More wine? Nope, no more wine. But yeah, like the masts missing the sails and the seaweed growing on the masts. It's kind of cool. Oh, <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wine. It just... 
went off the ship. We're not abandoning the ship by throwing cargo overboard. Uh, oh, more rum, just in case I get low. A yellow skull is required. Oh, this looks to be like a hatch to the underbelly of the ship. Oh, there's an other side to this ship. Okay. Okay, there's the yellow key and the exit. This must be... Yeah, the blue skull is required to activate this object, so... Um, I'll save those shotgun shells. I don't want... There are four shells, and I'm only missing one, so... How do I grab the yellow key? Am I supposed to jump, or does this lower? <laughs> yeah, this lowers. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Lost soul. Damn you, lost souls. More of them. Are their skin colors a little bit different, or... Is it just because this is underwater that their skin tone is a bit, uh different. Hey there, Sweetness Fish. Did you come to check out the action? Any more lost souls that want to die? No? Okay, fair enough. More bubbles. We love the bubbles. So, with the yellow key... Yep, this opens up the hatch. Oh, boy. Oh. Hello there. I didn't even see you. Where were you hiding? Okay. Let's go down. Oh, boy, it just goes down there forever. Let's go down into the underbelly of the ship. Oh, boy, I'm scared. Okay. Let's analyze the surroundings so we don't end up, uh... Boy, we don't end up dying. Everything's opening at once here. Oh my gosh, are they throwing them at a faster rate of speed? Ugh, let's squeeze through. Yeah, being underwater makes it a little bit tougher to, uh... Uh, dodge enemy fire. Yet yeah, these are uh, not bucklers for your belt, um, as pointed out in the comments. They're actually bucklers like, uh, think of like sparring shields in the olden days. Back when they would practice sword fighting, they'd also have a practice shield as well. So, I guess that's what these are, and I guess Doom Guy just grabs multiples of them. And he's able to somehow, you know, accumulate his armor. Well, fair enough. I don't ask questions. Okay, so now that we're in the underbelly of the ship, I'm going to take a look at the map. Uh-huh, yes. It's a new area of the map where I see automatically we see two secrets right off the bat. So, um, there are two doors to my left and right, so... Let's go through these. I'm going to switch to my pistol. We're running just a little bit low on shotgun ammo. Oh, wait a minute. It was also pointed out to me in the comments that if I just go to any weapon and then press... Yeah press the secondary fire button, it will just automatically swing my sword, which is just totally convenient. This is awesome. Thank you to whoever pointed that out to me in the comments. I owe you big time. This it just saves so much time from having to switch weapons. Oh, Grog in the big form, the big kegs. 
blow these up? No. Is this the secret? No. Grog. That must be the name of, like, an alcohol or something. Uh, spinach. Oh, this is the secret area. Whoa, it's very hard to see. Uh, just a little bit. Uh, the reddish hue back against the bluish hue of the water makes it a little bit tough to see, but it's starting to go away. Uh, the next secret is not for a while, up until about almost the red door. It's to the left of the red door, so I must remember that. I think this will just, uh, loop back, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay, so there is the blue switch and a teleporter, which I'm assuming will take us back up the hatch. I'm assuming. I've not played this before, so I don't know what is coming up and not. Ah, okay, so here is the red door, speaking of. So the next secret is to the left of the red door, right through here. Wow! They were ready for me. I think they are firing at a slightly higher rate. But no matter, the imps die anyways. And the low gravity makes this just hilarious. You know? No. Okay. The invulnerability must be the secret area, so... Oh, you little sneak. Give me your bullet clip. Come to Papa. More wine, which I don't know how to grab. Ouch! Oh my gosh! That did not feel good whatsoever. Thank you, shotgun guy. Okay, there's the invulnerability sphere. And we still have to the right of the red door to explore as well. So I wonder... How can I... Yes! I didn't even jump! I swear I didn't even jump. It just automatically... Okay, we're gonna waste this invulnerability spear if I don't... ...continue. I don't have the red key yet, so... I am invulnerable, so let's just get in and kick ass. And chew bubblegum. But Doomguy is all out of gum as well. That wasn't too bad. Can you shoot these? No, you can't. Oh, yeah, you can! <laughs> Hilarious! Okay. Aha! What does this do? Uh, nothing, apparently. Okay. Treasure chest. Ooh, the full map. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay. Press the switch. And, uh, something happened. Oh, these are kind of cute. Little pots and pans. So this must be the, like, the, uh, the kitchen area. Where all the pirates come to chow down on some pirate food, whatever they may eat. Oh, this opened up. Okay. Oh, gosh. Get out of here, shotgunner. Man, those shotgunners are nasty. But then again, so are the imps when they drop down from the, uh, chutes. Okay, I did see some wine, so give me that, please. Um, so this side has opened up a little bit, so let's explore. 
Since that gives me 25% health, I'm going to save that. And I will grab the wine right here instead. There's two rums. Okay. And I see a fleshy eyeball to press. Whoa, that makes you go... When you walk on this, it makes you go, like, super fast. Well, let's see what this does. And it opens the other side, as I suspected. Boy, let's switch to the super shotgun here. <laughs> this super shotgun has a lot of power. Of course, it may be because of the low gravity as well, I'm not sure, but... Ah, treasure chest. With nothing inside. Sweetness! Did you come through the winder? Red key is mine, though. I need some more shotgun shells. So let's switch to the pistol again and use that for the time being, so... Okay, red key is mine, so let's go through the red door. Are there any more secrets? No, actually. Not that I can see, so... Uh, okay, the game auto-saved. And I think I saw a revenant up there. What does he launch at you? A bird with a cannonball. So it works like a Revenant rocket, but it's a parrot with a cannonball. And he's got a pirate uh, thing on his head, on his skull. And he's also got, like, hook hands. That is awesome. I like that. Man, they come up with everything when they reskin these monsters. It's awesome. Treasure chest? No. That's right, Big Mac Davis, you don't have to switch weapons anymore. Someone already fixed that problem for you in the comments. Alright, so blue key is mine, and the super shotgun is mine, so... Well, that's a cool map. I don't know what it's a map of, but... Oh! More shotgun shells and a secret. What is that? Oh, it's seaweed. I thought it was, um, the top of the skull of a lost soul for some reason. Okay, the blue key is mine. Which means I can pass the sweetness. And I could go to... Uh... I don't know why that secret that I just got didn't appear as a purple box, but... Well, I killed all the enemies, so I think we're ready to go. Uh, I guess I didn't kill all the enemies. What? Stop! Doom guy. These must be like, uh... <laughs> look at their shotguns. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look how far he got propelled. Not cool. I don't know, are these... They look like knives that are, like, on fire? Or dipped in some sort of substance? Hello there, sweetness. I'm not sure. Man, that's a lot of them, though. What was that that just appeared on my screen? <sighs> okay, he's dead. His pirate hat came completely off. There's one more, if I didn't already kill him, though. I'm missing two enemies. Uh, yeah, I think he's already dead, so let's get back up the ship again. Those stupid shotgunners shot me off the ship. Must be on this side. Oh, 
Uh, let's have our super shotgun ready. Just in case. Give me that wine, and, uh... 68 enemies. Too bad there's not 69 enemies. I am missing one more secret, I don't know where that is, and one more item, and I don't know where that is. Oh, we can't go back down the hatch. Well, that's a bummer. But that's alright. I think... That, uh... That's it. So let's go ahead and exit. Wow, why is there... Just a little bit of frame rate drop. It must be because this game is just so... Taxive. Sunken Ghost Ship. With, uh, I could not find the last secret area. I don't know where it is. And the last item as well, but at least I got 100% kills. That's also very important, so... Very cool map. I do enjoy it. Very well designed. Good gameplay. Very solid. And, um... Uh, well, let's see what's next. Barnacle Bar. Oh my gosh, look at that. Scenery. So... I am not going to look at anything. We shall see what we have in the next video. Map 5 of, I think, 18 of them, so... Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this blind Let's Play, and we shall do more in the next video. So, until then, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and I shall see you guys then. Take care, everybody.